In this video, I'm going to show you how you can zoom out on iPad lock screen or pretty much anywhere else. And it's pretty much a way to fix this problem when your iPad simply looks like this. It zoomed in in a very weird way. So I'm going to show you how you can fix it. And there are actually two solutions for it. One which is simple and instantaneous. And the second one is kind of like a deeper uh, dive into the topic, which allows you to modify and control it. So pretty much just grab your three fingers like this and simply double tap the screen of your iPad. You have to double tap it with the three of the fingers at the very same time. You're going to notice that your iPad zooms out and comes back to the original state and it looks like normal. Of course, if you double tap with the three fingers again, it's going to zoom it in. And that's nothing new, that's a basic zoom feature which is built into the iOS, in our case iPadOS. So the way it works is that you still use the three fingers, but you just double tap the screen and then you don't lift them and then you can just slide up and down to zoom in and out. And that's also a way how you can control it. This feature is like an accessibility one which allows you to zoom in on things that you would normally not be able to see or it just allows you to control the zoom in any part of your iPad. This is a common problem for a lot of users, but most likely on their iPhones or even on the Apple Watch. But I kind of thought that it can happen on your iPad as well, and some people were even having this problem. That's why I'm covering this topic. Anyways, guys, you can even triple click the screen with three fingers, which looks kind of weird, but this is how you get the gestures going. And then you're going to be presented with a couple of options, like with filters and stuff. So you can use that, but you can also just zoom in and zoom out with the top of the button. Again, this menu can be accessed with the triple clicking using three fingers at the very same time. And here's the second solution, which is like a deeper dive into the topic, like I said, but before we continue, I just quickly want to say that if you're new on this channel, don't hesitate with subscribing because it really does help the channel, it does help you at the first place, so definitely do that and let's continue with the video. And now you may be like, okay, I fixed it, I zoomed out, but I don't want this to ever happen to me again. Like, my screen is too big, I don't need any zoom features or anything like that. Well, in this case, you have to disable the feature completely. And for this, you naturally have to go to the settings on your iPad and navigate to the accessibility section. There are a couple of options that are going to pop up, perhaps you can even find something even more useful to you. But anyways, the zoom feature is right there as well, and you can simply disable it with one toggle switch. But there are also some other options. For example, there are different zoom regions available. So there is the full screen zoom or a window zoom. If you tap on the window, you know exactly what's going on and you have like a magnifying glass in the square format uh, flying or hovering on your screen and you can drag it around and that means that in this window you can zoom in and out. This same thing applies to it, you use the three fingers to double tap to enable it, sliding up and down to zoom in and out, but you don't have the entire screen zoomed in, you have like a tiny portion of it, which may be more useful or practical for a lot of people. And at least you will know that uh, you are using an actual feature and not that your iPad is broken or something. Another kind of important thing is the controller for the zoom, which you can enable and disable. So if you enable the show controller option, this, the thing like a circle is going to fly around on your iPad and it's going to look something like this. And you can even choose how, uh, what color it's going to have and what the opacity is going to be when you don't use it. But this pretty much allows you to move around the zoomed iPad with ease, so you don't have to just drag the three fingers around and stuff. I mean, it just works really simple, and it can also do different things when you single tap it, double or triple tap it. So, for example, if you double tap it, it can zoom in and out. And there are some things like you can, it can show you the menu with a single tap or it can speak on touch with the triple tap just like I have it, but yes, there are some options with it. Uh, well, the fact is that I don't use it at all, but some people may definitely find it useful. Besides that, you also have the maximum range or maximum zoom level, which 
is the end or the edge to which you can actually zoom in and I keep it at 5x because it's kind of reasonable for me I can still zoom in to a great degree or to a great level but it just doesn't get too distracting where I, where I zoom in too much and I don't know what's going on anymore I, I think that 5x is pretty okay so this would be pretty much everything what there is to know about it or everything what I wanted to say in this video. Hopefully you liked it and if you did you can leave a thumbs up on this one. It does help the channel, does help the video and it shows me that you actually found the video useful. And if you want to say that or leave some sort of other comment, the comment section is the place to do so. I usually reply to all of the comments and yes, yeah, so there's a great chance that I will re reply to you as well. Anyways guys, thanks a lot for watching, hope you enjoy the rest of your day, and we can see each other in the future videos.